All right, guys, we're going to do a quick uh, video going over the Unit 1, Day 6 homework, the one that is comparing the different qualities of an observational study and an experiment. Okay, so in fact, that was the very first thing you had to look at when you looked at a problem was decide if there was a treatment that the subjects were being assigned to, then it was an experiment. And so in this first case, it was an experiment. And so then we would skip these first four questions and go down here to the bottom. So we, our subjects were those 30 people that were volunteering to be in this. They had bipolar disorder. We had our type of medicine is the treatments, um, 10 grams of omega-3 fats, and then a placebo. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Now, here I saw lots of wrong answers or not complete answers. Um, so on this response variable, what you're getting from each person is how much their bipolar symptoms have improved, okay? So how much have they changed from before they took it to after they took it? And furthermore, it did say that it was measuring those things on a scale. So to get a severity value. So you were getting <clears throat> a quantity. Okay, and so that's important, uh, and that will play into the answer to part E every single time. If the results that each individual person gives you is a number, a quantity, then that means after everybody's given you those numbers, you will then average those to get that parameter that you're interested in. So you want to get that parameter for um, for the population, actually, that's what that is. Okay, so the population amount would be the average bipolar symptom improvement. Now, we knew this was single blind because there was a placebo. That means the subjects did not know which treatment they were getting. Um, we do not know if it was double blind. Double blind would mean that the doctors that were working with these people and asking them questions and seeing how they're doing, it would mean those doctors and and evaluators do not know which treatment they get. We don't have enough information to decide that. Now, look here. Because this is an experiment, then yes to cause and effect. Because this is an experiment, because you did not randomly select, you just took your volunteers, then we can only generalize to the volunteers, these volunteers, okay? All right, number two was actually the only observational study on this assignment. And so this is the observ what we were doing was um, we were not having a treatment we were assigning to these Swedish men. We just examined already existing conditions or just observed. So that's an observational study. So we were looking back at past medical records. That's um, retrospective, okay? And then, um, we had 360,000 Swedish men, okay? Now, here's an important thing to take a look at. What parameter of interest, what conclusion would we be making about the population? What do we hope to conclude about the population, okay? Um, now, <clears throat> so here's the thing. You have to think about how is this data collected, all right? So they gathered this huge pile of 360,000 files, medical records, okay? So they'd open up a file and they'd say, oh, do you have, does this man, Swedish man, have high blood pressure or is overweight? And if so, then okay, that goes over here in this pile. Then they open up a file, oh, this person is not overweight, nor does he have high blood pressure? Okay, that goes over here in this pile. So they're going to separate by that trait that those Swedish men have inherently already associated with them, okay? All right, so over here, you have the pile of all the overweight and high blood pressure men. Over here, not overweight, not high blood pressure, okay? Then what are you going to do next? Let's examine this pile of the high blood pressure overweight men. I'm going to then look at... How many of them have kidney cancer? I'm going to open those files, go, oh, do they have kidney cancer? And then I'm going to, once I figure out how many of those have kidney cancer, then I'm going to say, hey, this is now 
because I said, do they have kidney cancer? Yes or no. That is a quality about these men, not a quantity, like a numerical value about the severity of bipolar disorder. Okay. A quant quality, also known as categorical, category. Yes or no, they have it or they don't have it. So once I get that, watch what's going to happen is then I'm going to have a proportion of men that have high blood pressure and kid and uh, overweight that get kidney cancer. Okay, so that I'm hoping to make a statement about the proportion of those high blood pressure and overweight men who get kidney cancer. Okay, so that's why our parameter of interest is a proportion, not an average. Now, uh, because this was not a random assignment to a treatment, we cannot claim cause and effect. So that's no. But it was a random selection from the medical records. So I bet you we could generalize to all Swedish men. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to generalize to, say, Italian men, uh, you know, or other other areas of the world, because there might be um, differences in lifestyle and all that kind of stuff that would make those rates um, correlate differently. Okay. Now, I just remembered, I forgot to mention back here on this first problem about the bipolar disorder, this issue about the placebo and the blinding. Uh, we talked about it, but I wanted to also mention why was blinding a benefit in this experiment? Okay. So why was blinding a benefit? Did it help? And, and Today, I got a little good, good answers from the students. They said, well, because some of those people might think that just because they're taking a pill, then they feel better and their symptoms have improved. Okay. So recall that if we have a response that is psychological or about feelings, pain, you know, all those things that could be psychological or subjective, okay, then you might do best having a placebo because you don't want somebody's feeling towards how, me how medicine does for them to taint those results and cloud those issues, okay? If you were measuring something like the length of your hair, well, that's an objective measurement. I can measure it and I can see what the ruler says. Or even my blood cholesterol level, that number, I cannot take a pill and go, oh, this pill is going to make my cholesterol better. Woohoo. No, that cholesterol level is objective, not tainted by you taking, thinking you're taking medicine and it getting better. All right, good. Moving on to number three. Now, there were some people I saw when I was going through looking at those lessons that did choose this as an observational study, and I don't know why, because it had several different um, diets assigned that the subjects were assigned to. Here we had those 459 subjects. We had three different treatments, the HFLC diet, the DASH diet, and then that control diet. Okay, we were measuring from each patient how much their systolic blood pressure changed from before the diet to after. It's not blinded because they have to know what they're taking. So placebo or blinding is not required, but having some kind of control, whether that be nothing or the existing, is necessary. All right, so, so we were getting a, a, a numerical value here on that blood pressure change. So a whole bunch of numerical values. Overall, we would be getting an average systolic blood pressure change. An experiment, so yes, cause and effect. Those go hand in hand every single time. Experiment, yes, cause and effect. Um, we can only generalize, though, to these subjects, volunteers. You know, subjects can have their own quality, like these were more motivated or they have particular types of habits. So you can't generalize to all people. You can only really technically generalize to all people like these volunteers. All right, number four, also 
a um, we actually had a couple of things going on here. We had the insomnia, but we had the uh, diet, whether they had uh, desserts or no desserts, okay? And then we even separated it further into exercise and no exercise. So you ended up having four different treatments. The ones that had, here we had up at the top, desserts and exercise, and then desserts, no exercise. And down here at the bottom, no desserts, exercise, no desserts, no exercise. Okay. All right. So four different treatment groups. We started with those in sporty insomnia patients. And here I defined out what those treatments were. We were looking for those insomnia symptom improvement. And I would imagine it's not blinded at all because the patients would know which treatment they're on. Um, and so then we are, were they asked, did it state? Haha. Uh -huh. So they were specifically asked here, look at, think about the response each student is getting. Have your insomnia symptoms improved? And they'll say yes or no. That is a quality, a categorical answer, okay? Not a numerical quantity. So therefore, we're going to end up ultimately with our proportion of patients who experienced improvement. It is an experiment, so yes, cause and effect, and just generalize to those volunteers. All right, and then this was our last one. We had um, people that volunteered to be exposed to the cold virus. Here they had two treatments, the herbal compound or the, the uh, sugar uh, sugar solution, okay? Now, they were going to be exposed to the cold virus, and then several days later, the students were assessing their cold severity on a scale of zero to five. So I don't know if they put specific criteria in line or if this still was kind of subjective in a sense about how they are feeling. Hence, having a placebo, okay? So here's what our answers look like then for this one, our 100 people, two different treatments, cold severity. It's at least blinded because the patients don't know if they got the herbal or the sugar. Uh, once they all give me a number value on their cold severity, that is a quantity, a number that I then average what that cold severity is for the herbal compound and for the other one. Um, it's an experiment, so yes, cause and effect. And then I just generalized to these 100 volunteers. All right, so that's quick, to the point, observational study versus experiment.